The process of transforming one data type to another occurs during the assignment. Automatic type conversion occurs in C sharp if the two data types are compatible. If they are incompatible, then explicit type conversion must be performed. Assigning a value suitable for n to a long variable is an example. On that note, I am Swarov Handelwal and I welcome you all to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we will be going over the boxing and unboxing. But first, let me remind you that we have our daily updates on numerous technologies. So if you are a tech geek looking for the latest technological innovations, then try subscribing to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update on Simply Learn. So now, without any further ado, let's get started with the agenda for today's session. We will begin our session with a discussion on what is boxing. Following that, we will have a brief discussion on unboxing. Next, we will have a comparison between boxing and unboxing. Following that, we will implement what we learned during this session with a simple demo. Finally, we will conclude this session with a quick pointers on boxing and unboxing. So now, let's get started with the discussion on what is boxing. First up, boxing is a process of turning a value type to an object type or any interface type that this value type implements. Many people mistake boxing for converting a value type to a reference type, although this is not the case. Because if that were true, then integer values should be able to be transformed into a string or an array which are reference types. Next up, we have boxing is an implicit translation technique that employs object type that is a super type. Then we have when the CLR boxes a value type, it wraps a value into a system.object and saves it on the manage heap. At last, making a duplicate of a value being boxed is conveyed by a boxing conversion. This is a unique from a reference type to a type object conversion in which the value continues to point to the same instance and is just treated as the lost derivative type object. Next up, let's discuss what a C-sharp unboxing is. First up, unboxing is a technique of transforming an object type variable into a value type variable. You must double cast if you want to unbox an object into a different type than its predecessor. Unboxing is an explicit conversion process requiring us to explicitly mention the data type during unboxing. Then, you must a double cast if you want to unbox an object into a different data type than its predecessor. Finally, an unboxing operation involves first determining if the object instance is a box value of the specified value type and then duplicating the value from the instance. Now that we have a good grasp on concepts like boxing and unboxing, let's have a discussion on the difference between boxing and unboxing. First, let's check the base definition. So, boxing is basically a conversion of value type to an object type. Then, we have a conversion type. Boxing is classified as an implicit conversion technique, whereas the unboxing is an explicit conversion factor. Finally, let's go over an example. As you can see in boxing, we first define an integer value and then assign its value to an object variable obj. Now in case of unboxing, we are defining a new integer variable to store the current object variable. So to do that, we are type casting the object variable to an integer type. Now that we are familiar with the process of boxing and unboxing, 
Then let's go to Visual Studio Code and implement them. Let's start by creating a double. So we will have a double x equals to 10.3. Then we can create an object obj equals to x. And now this process of writing object obj equals to x is called boxing. Next, let's try to unbox this bag. So we will have another double y equals to double x double obj. Now this process is called unboxing. Let's try to print this. So console dot right line and we'll print y. Then also have a console dot read line let's save this and run it here as you can see it has printed 10.3 now let's try something different let's try to type cast this double into an end So let's have this end and change this to enter here. Now let's save and run it. As you can see, it is giving us an unhandled ex exception that is invalid cast exception. Now to get around that, we need to double cast it. So, first we will typecast this to a double. Then we are retypecasting it to an end so that to store it in Y. Now let's save it and run it. And as you can see, it is now printing 10. Why is it printing 10 instead of 10.3? Well, because we have now converted a double into an int and int doesn't have decimal points. So that's why it is printing 10. Let's get back to our slides. Finally, let's discuss some of the pointers on boxing and unboxing. First up, there are two forms of data storage in a computer programming, a reference type which keep tracks of the location of their values in a place called a heap and the value type which simply keeps the values themselves on the stack. Then we have the tag system unification which gives the value types the advantages of objectness without adding unneeded cost. Int values are just 32-bit values in applications that do not require int values to operate as objects. The functionality is accessible on demand for applications that require int values to act as objects. This ability to consider value types as objects mediates the relationship that occurs in most languages between type values and the reference types. Following that, it is a waste of time to box and unbox something as it decreases the performance. It should be avoided at all costs. 
boxing and unboxing can be avoided with the use of collections like generics. So you can try substituting less for an error list. At last, exceptions are thrown when an unknown object is unboxed or an object is cast as an incompatible data type. And this was all for today's session. Hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you like this session, then like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.